welcome to the Craft Yak channel. If you are new to our channel, well, welcome. We enjoy having you. We are honored to have you. And then if you have been with us before, well, welcome back. Uh, we appreciate you very, very much. Today, we're going to be talking about a technique that I cannot live without. It is called Foundation Single Crochet. You may have seen it. The abbreviation for it, uh, sorry, the, uh, the letters for it is FSC. Um, when you uh, the crochet term terminology, it's FSC. Um, Foundation Single Crochet. Today, I'm going to be using Lion Brand Cotton Yarn, 24-7 Cotton Yarn. I discovered this yarn, I guess, about tw two months ago, and I'm, I'm loving it. It's beautiful. So check it out. I highly recommend it. All right, so I have three samples here. And this technique, like before I even get into the samples, this technique involves making your foundation chain and your single crochet at the same time, okay? So instead of chaining x amount of chains and then going back and single crocheting into every one of those chains when you start a project you're going to do all of those steps right there together okay so that makes it a lot easier especially if let's say you chain 50 chains or 200 chains and then you realize and then you single crochet into those and you realize you didn't make enough foundation chains. Well, that now you have to go back and pull out all of your single crochet and I can't stand doing that. It, it happens to the best of us and it's so annoying. This way you're going to make that chain and then make the single crochet one after the other so that if you need to subtract or add to your work, you can without any problem, without taking out everything. Okay, here we go. So the sample on the, the sample right here, the orange one, this is crocheting into the chain. All right, it's not bad. I uh, made some chains and then I went back and I did some single crochets into that chain. I also, I used a slip knot at the end. I, I don't, I believe in using knots only when you need them. And I'm gonna show you why this knot is unnecessary, this slip knot, the beginning slip knot that everybody learns when they learn to crochet. Start with a slip knot. No, we're not gonna start with a slip knot. And I'm gonna tell you why, and I'm gonna show you how we can make this better. Uh, the other thing is a lot of beginners make the mistake of crocheting into this knot because they just, you know, they, they haven't yet come to, uh, just to, to see that it is just a knot and it's not a stitch, okay? So we're gonna, it's an unnecessary step. Okay, so then the other better way is of course foundation single crochet. Okay, that looks much better. Look at the bottom, it's great. But again, this one was started with a slip knot and I'm gonna show you how, why we don't need that. Here is, and I'm gonna put it right next to this one, here's our third sample. This is foundation crochet, single crochet, without the slip knot. Do you see it doesn't have that awkward little knot on the end? Let me turn it around so you can see it a little bit better. It doesn't have that awkward knot like this one. See the knot there, why? Okay, all right, enough about that, let's begin. So I'm gonna start by taking this one apart. And then we're going to, remember, we don't need a slip knot. What we're gonna do instead, this is the tail end of your yarn, okay? Stop running away from me. All right, tail end. That's gonna to go to your right, okay? And then the rest of the strand that is connected to the skein is on your left-hand side. Now, take the yarn over your finger. This is, the, this is the way I kind of show people how to do it if they're having problems wrapping their head around it. And just put it over your finger and just twist it like that so that the tail end is underneath, the yarn strands are crossed with the tail end underneath and to the right, the yarn, the strand that goes to the skein on the top and to the left, right? Hold on to that, hold that cross, and then tension your yarn, okay? Tension your yarn, get your hook, put it through, yarn over, pull up your first chain. I know, that looks weird, right? That's not my first chain. Yes, it is, it's your first chain, trust me. Okay, we need two chains to begin this technique, so let's make another one. Yarn over, here's our second chain. 
All right, now let's set up for this. See these two strands right here on the first chain? Just put your hook underneath them, yarn over, pull up a loop. That sets you up for what you're gonna do. You're going to make your chain, yarn over, pull up through the first loop. That's your chain. Now yarn over and pull through the two loops left. That is the single crochet part of this technique. So you made a chain and the single crochet right there together. Now you have this little part right here. Just pull it, there you go. And look how nice that is, okay? Let's do that again. Find, turn it to the bottom. Now, you know where the bottom is because your tail is coming from the bottom. So that's how you know the bottom of this, okay? And I know if you're new to this technique, it may confuse you at first, but don't get confused, it's okay. The tail is coming from that bottom and that's how you know. These two strands right here on the bottom, that's where you're gonna put your hook to set up this, proceed, this technique. Yarn over, come through, that's your chain. Oh, sorry, no, that's your setup, okay? It's your setup. Now, yarn over, pull through one loop, that's the chain. Yarn over, that's your single crochet. Let's do it again. One, two, okay? Two strands right there, can you see that? Okay, yarn over, get ready to make that chain. Yarn over, pull through one only, that's the chain. Yarn over, pull through these two, that is the single crochet. I wanna show you that again. And once you get used to it, it will go so fast and you'll love it. Yarn over, do your chain. Yarn over, pull through the last two, single crochet. And you can even say that to yourself, okay? As you do this, so you get used to it. Go under these two strands, yarn over, let's set it up. Yarn over, make your chain, yarn over, make your single crochet. Now here's the thing, it looks neat on the top, it looks neat on the bottom, and it looks neat on the side, beautiful. If, let's say, let me tell you, there have been patterns where it started with chain 301 and skip one chain and then single crochet, 300 and I just went no I know this is in the past <laughs> I've had to deal with that I put the pattern down I said no I can't with this I don't mind because if it says chain 300 and you need that you need 300 single crochets I can just make 300 foundation single crochets one at a time with the chain and the single crochet okay together and if I make too many let's say I make 301 I just take one out, that's all. I don't have to go back, take out all of my single crochet, take away one of the chain, and then go back and you know make the single crochets again. If I don't have enough, I just add one. That's it, okay? Very, very easy and simple. So I hope that this has helped you. Um, and I hope that you use this technique anytime from now on it pretty much that you see where it says a foundation chain and then go back into and single crochet into it, you can do this instead, okay? You can also do it with double crochet and half double crochet and treble crochet. I will do that in a separate video um, and show you it's pretty much the same technique um, with a slight difference, but easy to do. I hope you have a wonderful day. Please leave questions if you have them. Leave comments, leave suggestions. I love hearing from you. Take care, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.